So, uh, my name is Robert Carlson, and uh, I happen to be a cyclist, and I like to record all things about when I ride. But what I was most interested in was where do I ride in the city when I'm not training, when I'm just commuting to work or to school. But I wondered, where do other people ride in the city? And there are, there are other ways for us to foster a sense of connection among strangers, more or less, by looking at this kind of quantified data. So to that end, I released an iPhone application because I wanted to see, you know, are there ways to collect meaningful uh, data about you know, our experiences in the city using technology that we already happen to carry. And a lot of people seem to already carry iPhones. And indeed, you know, mobile devices, you know, GPS-enabled smartphones specifically, are becoming prevalent enough that you can use them you know, in large-scale you know, um, personal data collection. So the application is called Mobile Logger. It's open source. It's available on GitHub. It's also in the App Store right now. And I started using it for the last month or so. I got about a dozen people in New York City to also use it for the last month or so. And uh, I have about 200 people over the world that have also used it as well. And then after I started collecting this data, I, I mapped it and I wanted to see where we go. And over the last month or so, you know, we have myself in Orange and a couple of other riders that live in different parts of Brooklyn and Lower Manhattan. And I can kind of see where our paths cross and where we snake among and around each other. And then once I have this data, this location data, I can start to slice it up and analyze it and maybe see, you know, where are the most frequently ridden parts of the city. And since in the, in the data set I have, most of us live in Brooklyn and we commute to lower Manhattan, it seems that the Brooklyn side of the Williamsburg Bridge is, is definitely a bottleneck and it seems to be where we happen to congregate, or at least we pass through. But then once we have that, we can also slice it up and look at, you know, when, not only uh, day of the week, but also hour of the day. And this type of graph shows me that it looks like it's mostly commuters that are riding in the morning and afternoon rush hour. We can also look at how fast are people riding, and we can also look at how far are people riding. And the thing I want to point out about the distance graph here is that the colors of the bars represent individual users. And because there's an orange bar and a green bar at about the same heights, I can say that while well, myself as the orange bar and another rider share about a, similar, a similarly distanced commute. So there's that interesting connection. I don't know where he's coming from or going to, but I know we both ride for about the same amount of time you know, in the day. We can also look at metrics like how loud different parts of the city are. And you know, one of the things I wondered was, you know, sure, it looks like it's loud on Broadway and it looks like it's loud on the Williamsburg Bridge, you know, but is it louder because of the location or is it louder because we're riding faster? You know, and are we riding faster because those roads are open and they afford riding faster? You know, there's some questions that would need, you know, need to be answered still.